Life can push and pull us in so many ways. In so many ways. We, we sometimes find ourselves wearing so many different hats. You know, mother or father, brother or sister, uncle or aunt or grandparent or, you know, uh, teacher, principal, whatever it may be. We, we have so many things that, that, that we have to deal with in our lives and it can be unrelenting at times. It can feel like one thing after another, over and over and over again. But this is why God has instituted his church. That is why God has instituted this body of people here today. This place that we are gathering in, and those of you who are joining us on the live stream, is our place of rest and restoration. This, folks, is not a place of work or of burden or of, uh, 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 of, of torment or anything like that. This is a place of rest and restoration. This is a place for us to refresh ourselves. Amen? Amen. Everybody say, refresh. 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 Refresh, refresh yourselves. Refresh yourselves. We need to be faithful to the church. We need to be faithful to whenever we are gathering together, whether here in this place or on Zoom or anywhere else. We need to be faithful to gather together because that is the time of refreshing. That is the time that we uh, receive one another in love and we edify one another. We encourage one another in the Lord. Our lives are, are more often than not very hectic and draining physically, emotionally, and spiritually. How many of us can, can identify with that? Amen. Amen. Not enough hands have gone up. <laughs> we, we, are all, we are all battered to back and forth by things that affect us physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And it can be daunting to just to wake up in the morning. Just to be, just to, to get up and get in the shower and, and get dressed and all that. It, it's daunting because we just went through a whole day of, of just surviving and just trying to make it to the end of the day. And then we have to get up and do it all over again. It, it's draining. All of us are in a constant battle against our enemy, Satan. And, and, and if it's not Satan himself, it's one of his minions. And they're all wanting to do one thing, and that is to separate us from having a relationship right. with Jesus Christ. They're trying to separate us from receiving the restoration, the refreshing that God has for us. They are trying to cause us to look only at our problems and our difficulties rather than the one who can destroy all of those things and clear them all out of our lives. And we're not... We're, He's trying to get, the enemy's trying to get us to think that we are the ones that, the only ones that can take care of those issues. No, we aren't. Nothing we can do will ever cause us to be able to really overcome our problems and our trials and our tests. Only the one who has given us life and life eternal can do that for us. It is the good fight of faith that we fight, but it is the battle, but it is a battle that will drain us and weary us to no end. That is why I want to give us the good news of the promises of God for his children here today. There is good news for those of us who are struggling. There, are, there is good news for those who are battling every day in this war. There is good news. Our God has promised to refresh us and to satisfy us when we are weary from the fight. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. That is why he has given us his word. That is why he has given us this Bible. That's why this is the most printed book of, uh, of literature ever printed in the whole of civilization. This Bible is full of promises. It's full of truths. It's full of wisdom that will help us and refresh us as we go along this journey. There are so many words of refreshing and fulfillment in this book. So many. So many great and precious promises from our daddy. And that's what the Bible tells us to call him, our daddy. Abba, father. That's the Hebrew way of saying daddy. Psalm 23, 1 through 3. 
a very familiar passage of scripture. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I will not be needing anything when my, the Lord is my shepherd. That is a promise. When the Lord is your shepherd, when the Lord is leading you and guiding you in your life, you shall not want for anything. Verse 2, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He maketh me. He, he, it's, it, I know this is the old English way of, of writing, but it's it, it's kind of cool. It's kind of like he's he's forcing you to lay down in green pastures. Yeah. Sometimes we don't want to do that. Sometimes we're so stressed out. We're just like, I got to keep going. If I don't keep these plates in the air, they're going to fall down and crash all around me. He's like, lay down in green pastures. You know? Come on. <laughs> and he leadeth me besides still water. He's like, come on. Still water, see, peaceful, yes, enjoy it. Drink from the waters. Sometimes we, we force him to do that. Verse three, he restoreth my soul. And that word, that could be transliterated again as refresh. He refreshes my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. It, folks, he, he understands our limitations. He understands that we can't do this on our own. And so he leads us into the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So that he can have us for himself forever and ever in a place where there is no tear, no no pain, no no sickness, no disease. But while we're here on the earth, he leads us toward that place of restoration and, and refreshment. Our God is all about giving us rest and restoration. We're refreshing. Amen. Refresh yourselves. Let's refresh ourselves right now. Praise your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship and honor you, Lord. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise your name, Lord God.